Hello friends, food enthusiasts and curious minds. Today we're diving into a captivating story about a seasoning that has revolutionized global cuisine monosodium glutamate, or MSG. Did you know that billions of people around the world use MSG in their meals every single day? Join me as we explore the wonderful world of this flavor enhancer that has become a staple in kitchens across the globe. Our story begins over a century ago in a small laboratory in Tokyo, Japan. The year was 1908, and a scientist named Kikune Aikida was about to make a discovery that would change the culinary world forever. While enjoying a bowl of dashi, a traditional Japanese soup stock made from kombu seaweed, Aikida noticed a distinct flavor that couldn't be categorized as sweet, sour, salty, or bitter. Can you imagine the excitement he must have felt at that moment? Intrigued by this unique taste, Aikida named it umami, which translates to delicious taste or pleasant savory taste in Japanese. But he didn't stop there. Driven by curiosity and scientific rigor, Aikida spent months isolating and identifying the compound responsible for this flavor. His perseverance paid off when he finally pinpointed the source glutamic acid, realizing the immense potential of his discovery. Aikida set out to find a way to produce this flavor enhancer on a large scale. The result was the creation of monosodium glutamate MSG, a stable salt form of glutamic acid that could easily be added to foods. Would you believe that within just a few years, MSG became a culinary sensation in Japan and quickly spread throughout Asia? It was like a flavor revolution had begun. Now, let's take a journey into a modern MSG production facility. Prepare to be amazed by the perfect blend of science and technology that goes into creating those tiny white crystals. The first step in MSG production is fermentation. Producers use special bacteria to ferment sugar from sources like sugar cane or corn. Can you picture millions of tiny microorganisms working tirelessly to create glutamic acid? It's like a microscopic factory operating 24-7. But here's where it gets really interesting. The type of bacteria used in this process is crucial. Most commonly, producers use Corynebacterium glutamicum, a bacteria specifically engineered for this purpose. These little workhorses can convert up to 50% of the sugar they consume into glutamic acid. Now that's efficiency. Once the glutamic acid is produced, it's time for the next step neutralization. The acid is carefully combined with sodium hydroxide to form monosodium glutamate. This process requires absolute precision in temperature and pH levels. Even a slight deviation could ruin an entire batch. Did you know that the ideal pH for MSG crystallization is between 3.2 and 3.8? It's this attention to detail that ensures the high quality of the final product. Finally, the MSG solution is filtered, crystallized, and dried to create the pure white crystals we're familiar with. But don't let their simple appearance fool you. Each crystal is the result of a complex and carefully controlled process. Here's a mind-boggling fact. The global MSG industry produces about 3 million tons of product each year. That's enough to fill nearly 1,200 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Can you imagine diving into a pool of MSG crystals? Not that we recommend it, of course. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Is MSG safe? This question has sparked heated debates for decades. For many years, MSG was associated with Chinese restaurant syndrome, a collection of symptoms including headaches, nausea, and sweating that some people reported experiencing after eating foods containing MSG. This led to widespread concern and even fear about MSG consumption. However, recent scientific studies have painted a different picture. Extensive research has failed to find a direct link between MSG and these symptoms in the general population. In fact, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA has classified MSG as generally recognized as safe grass. Surprised? But here's where it gets interesting while MSG is safe for most people. A small percentage of individuals may be sensitive to it. 
These people might experience mild symptoms after consuming large amounts of MSG, especially on an empty stomach. It's a reminder that everyone's body reacts differently to foods and additives. Did you know that glutamate, the key component of MSG, is actually produced naturally by our bodies? In fact, the average person has about 4.4 pounds of glutamate in their body at any given time. It's also found naturally in many foods we eat every day, like tomatoes, cheese, and mushrooms. However, as with anything in life, moderation is key. The FDA suggests that adults can safely consume 13 grams of glutamate per day from all sources. To put that in perspective, a typical serving of food with added MSG contains less than 0.5 grams. MSG has become an integral part of many cuisines around the world. From Vietnamese pho to Italian pizza, from Kentucky fried chicken to Japanese ramen, MSG plays a role in creating signature flavors. Did you know that the average American consumes about 0.55 grams of MSG per day? In Asia, this figure is even higher, reaching 1.5-3 grams per day. But before you start counting your MSG intake, remember that these are averages and individual consumption can vary greatly. MSG is particularly popular in Asian cuisine. In China, it's known as Wei Jing Wei Jing, which literally translates to flavor essence in Japan. It's called Wei no Suaji no Moto, meaning essence of taste. These names reflect the important role MSG plays in these culinary traditions. But MSG isn't just for savory dishes. Some innovative chefs have started experimenting with MSG in desserts. They claim it can enhance the flavors of chocolate and fruits. Would you be brave enough to try an MSG-enhanced chocolate cake? As we look to the future, the MSG industry is constantly innovating. Scientists are exploring ways to produce MSG from more sustainable plant sources. They're also looking into optimizing the production process to minimize environmental impact. One exciting area of research is the use of genetically modified bacteria to produce MSG more efficiently. These super bacteria could potentially convert a higher percentage of sugar into glutamic acid, reducing waste and energy consumption. Another interesting development is the exploration of new sources of glutamic acid. While traditionally derived from sugar cane or corn, researchers are now looking at alternatives like algae and fungi. Can you imagine MSG produced from seaweed or mushrooms? There's also growing interest in natural sources of glutamate. Some food manufacturers are turning to ingredients like tomato powder or yeast extract as alternatives to pure MSG. These ingredients provide the umami flavor while allowing products to be labeled as no added MSG. The discovery and widespread use of MSG have had far-reaching effects beyond just enhancing our meals. Let's explore some of these impacts. Economic impact, the MSG industry is a multi-billion dollar global market. In 2019, the global MSG market was valued at approximately $4.5 billion, and it's expected to reach $6.2 billion by 2027. That's a lot of flavor enhancement. Agricultural impact, the production of MSG, requires large quantities of raw materials like sugarcane and corn. This has influenced agricultural practices in many countries with farmers dedicating significant acreage to these crops. Culinary innovation MSG has inspired chefs and food scientists to explore the concept of umami further. This has led to the development of new flavor combinations and cooking techniques. Cultural impact the use of MSG has become intertwined with cultural debates about authenticity in cuisine, particularly in Asian American communities. It's a fascinating example of how food can become a symbol in larger discussions about identity and tradition. Scientific research the discovery of umami as the fifth basic taste has spurred further research into taste perception and food science. Who knows what other taste sensations we might discover in the future. The story of MSG is a remarkable journey from a small Tokyo laboratory to the dining tables of billions around the world. It showcases the power of scientific discovery and innovation in shaping the way we eat and experience food.
From its accidental discovery to its global impact on cuisine, agriculture and economy, MSG continues to be a fascinating subject of study and debate. Whether you're a fan of its flavor-enhancing properties or prefer to avoid it, there's no denying the significant role MSG has played in shaping modern cuisine. So, what do you think about this MSG saga? If you found this video informative, leave multiple number ones in the comments. And if you think we could improve our content, don't hesitate to leave a like or subscribe to support us. Do you have any questions about MSG? Share them in the comments below. And why not experiment with MSG in your dinner tonight? You never know, you might discover a whole new flavor profile. Before we wrap up, here's a fun challenge for you try to guess how many grains of MSG are in a typical 1 gram packet. Post your guesses in the comments and we'll reveal the answer in our next video. Thank you for joining us on this flavorful journey. Remember, whether you're pro-MSG or prefer to avoid it, understanding its history and impact can make us all more informed consumers and food enthusiasts. Until next time, keep exploring the wonderful world of flavors.